It's all been a challenge to be able to juggle on the fly. I mean, we're a 155 seat restaurant and bar seven days a week, you know, 10, 11, 12 hours a day. And all of a sudden overnight, we had to pivot as they say, and, and just go to takeout. Anyone who had a strict business model that they've used for, you know, 10 years or whatever that number is, forget about it. The day we were shut down at Costa's, it was devastating. I've got friends that work and own in bars and tasting rooms. They had kegs tapped, they had staff called back, they had food, and then they were told a half a day earlier that they couldn't open. It's, it's unacceptable. I mean, to staff up, order the supplies, put the food in place, get the beer and the kegs in the, in the basement, whatever, and then, you know, a day or two out say, eh, no, we're, it's not gonna happen massively unfair. I mean, it just was horrible. There were a lot of rules and the rules evolved, right? We almost had to watch the updates every day to see what the, the next rules were gonna be. Just to act like on a whim, we can just change our entire business model and that we're just supposed to sit back and wait. You dictated my income, my livelihood, my income at a day's notice. We created the special menus, we put up plexiglass around booths, the list is a mile long of stuff we had to spend money on. Her only acknowledgement was maybe you could sell some of your food to the prison. I mean, should we sell them our kegs of beer too? Because we lost so much money on that. It's hard to build a business plan around operating at 25%, 50%. When's it going to go to 75%? Is there going to be a cap? you know, maybe bring back even a few more staff people. When can we hire? When can we do these things? Who the heck knows? You know, the, the bills from the state are still 100%. Honestly, I, I don't think the state has done us any favors at all. Uh, federal, yes. Local, yes. State, not so much. In my opinion, there is absolutely no excuse for all of her last minute changes. I was completely blown away that one person, one person in a state could completely dictate my income and how I was going to run my business. I, I just, I never thought I would see that day.